there's some people who feel that God talks to us through seemingly coincidences. And that's something that I can relate to. And it may just be coincidences, but somehow they speak to me and I draw meaning from them. While I was in seminary, the oddest thing started happening. It, it seemed like whenever I was having a particularly difficult time, I would turn on the radio and Green Day's song, Time of Your Life, would be playing. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. words spoke to me and the music spoke to me, but then the fact that it just continued hitting right when I needed it most, it started feeling like the divine was reaching out a hand just to say, it's all going to be okay. And I'm here. Whether this was really God or just an interesting coincidence. You know, that didn't seem as important to me as the fact that it helped me and it allowed me to step back from what I was immediately experiencing to a bigger picture of this is going to be the time of your life. Uh, get as much from it as you can even some of the painful experiences. And as my friend and colleague, the Reverend Ellen Cooper says, I don't believe in God. I experience God. So my ideas about what God is just continue to grow with every book I read, with every conversation that I have with another person, it opens up more and more possibilities. In the meantime, I don't feel that I have to have all the answers before I can pray or use God language or feel held by the universe, by mystery, by the divine. And I continue to get those very interesting coincidences that are sometimes such treasures and so meaningful. I had my ordination this past fall. Maybe you were there or saw it through the, the live stream broadcast. It was, at least for me, a wonderful ordination. Very meaningful. But now I'm going to tell you about something that most people don't know about. And it happened afterwards. After the ordination, some friends and I went to a pub to celebrate and have a bite to eat. So I'm there with some of my best friends in the world, people who have been on this journey to ministry with me. And there was a musician at the other end of the bar. Uh, I, I couldn't see him, but I'd hear him, you know, just kind of background noise. And then I realized what he was playing. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. But something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. You had the time of your life. And I have to tell you, it could have completely been coincidence. But what it felt like, it felt like the bartender had come over and handed me a note that said, just wanted to let you know I'm here. Love, God. I don't have to know 
God. I don't have to believe in God in order to experience God. And if you add it up, all the people who have ever been and all the people who are yet to be, who's to say there's not that many different ways to experience the transcending mystery? Walks with me and she tells me that I am her own and the joy we share as we take